Romans chapter 1. Okay, and look what I'm going to read unto the church. Romans chapter 1. And look what it's saying unto the church about Jews. Okay, Romans chapter 1. And I'm going to read the 16th verse. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. I come to understand. Now, I'm going to go to Romans chapter 2, and I'm going to read the 28 and the 29 verse. The 28. Start now, Romans chapter 2, the 28. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. That's why the Lord let us know in the scripture, he tell us this, circumcise your heart. That's what the Lord say. And you see, this what the 29th verse of Romans chapter 2 is telling us. But he is not a Jew which is one outwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. I'm going to read it again. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So you see what the Lord trying to get the church to understand. And I'm also going to go to Romans chapter 2 and read the ninth and 10th verse. Look what the ninth verse tells us. It see, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that do it evil, of the Jew first, and also of the Gentile. But Glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. The loving voice put it plainly, for there is no respect of person with God. So you understand how the Lord is saying unto the church about the souls and that he say all souls is mine. Who is man to say that a man is a man and he have a soul and he can't get saved. Well, that's the purpose of the preaching of the gospel to save soul. Also, that's the purpose of the preaching of the gospel. Okay. See, that's the 13th verse put it plainly. For not the hear of the law are just before God, but the doer of the law should be justified. Okay, now you understand what the Lord's saying. And you understand how the Lord put it? Because the 16th verse put it plainly. In a day when God should judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Okay? So you understand what the Lord is saying unto the church. Amen.